comes. Okay. So maybe we're gonna start by uh, saying how our group got together. Like after talking to each other, we actually found out some similarities. Uh, like especially what's your name? Colin. Colin Nella. Nice to meet you. <laughs> so Mike, please, Mike. Microphone. Oh, oh, I, no, I, can, I can speak up, so. Uh, so, actually, Akoli actually uh, told me, uh, uh, like, when she joined Sahachi Yoga, she said that, uh, you know, she had a wonderful experience, so maybe you can share, so, because some people thought to know what was your experience. Um, and it was beautiful, so. Just, I've done a lot of reading and uh, research, and it led me to, to hear that the first moment I walked in, I knew this is where I was meant to be. Um, and it's just been wonderful. It's, I've only been here for two months, coming every Wednesday, and I love it. It's just, it's just, oh, yeah, that whole, yeah. Well, with the music that we, yeah. Um, I was just mentioning to her that the, a few weeks ago, we had um, Indian music here, and it was the tabla, the, the yeah. drums. Um, and when he was playing it, um, yeah, um, I was meditating at the time. And I uh, opened my eyes and I saw him play. He was just starting to play. And behind him was a huge poster of Sri Mataji. And as soon as I looked at her and saw him playing, tears started coming down my face. And then I, I was kind of embarrassed and I wanted to wipe him away. And I thought, no, this is where it's going to happen. This is where it's meant to be. So I closed my eyes and I meditated. And as I was feeling the music, two words just popped into my head and it was I'm home and it was incredible like I just got goosebumps all over me just saying that um, and I just closed my eyes and I just meditated and the tears just streamed down my face like I was just soaked all down my neck and my chest and I, but I just let it flow it was because it was just meant to be and uh, it was it was great when I left here that day I was just floating for hours afterwards unfortunately I had to go to work but I was really, <laughs> I had to work a nine hour shift after that, but I was not there. I really wasn't. I wasn't, it wasn't me that was at work. I was doing the motions, but I wasn't really there. But that was amazing. That changed my, my life that day. It was great. We also uh, actually found out while meditating that our Vishuddhi was blocked. Pretty uh, blocked. Pretty yeah. blocked. Yeah. <laughs> and, and after Iwana gave us Sri Krishna, so that's our connection to our Shubhi. So maybe we're going to talk about it. And when I looked at this, I, I didn't know it was Krishna, but what I saw was a lot of love and compassion. That's just what I saw in this picture. That's all I can see. It's just through the eyes and the hands giving it just a lot of love and compassion. So we've got the leaf. And uh, we decided, while well, looking at the leaf, uh, that the leaf actually, the veins of the leaf, uh, symbolizing all of us. Uh, when uh, we look at the bottom, the base, uh, it's Muladhara Chakra. And after, I said, like we said, we said, sorry, <laughs> we said that uh, Muladhara is actually um, uh, transferring uh, nourishment, nourishment, yeah, nourishment to the, the rest of the leaves, so the leaf can survive. So if our muladhara is not working properly, we won't get whatever it's needed in order to for us to connect with, you know, the vine. And we said also that um, the the ends of the leaf are uh, actually symbolizing the flames of the fire. So we have all the elements of the of the of the, of the we have air <coughs> because leaves uh, leaves are producing oxygen. We have also nourishment, which is water, and we have also uh, the earth. The earth and the earth the because the, earth. the leaf comes from the earth, and also we have all the colors because as leaf is changing its color from green, so it's representing all the colors of chakras. Nourishment is blue, and all the colors, the rest of the colors, are symbolizing all of the chakras. So, wow. Wow. Very good. Yes, but question, what team are you? Excuse me? What team are you? What's your... What? Uh -huh. Or not sure yet. <laughs> yeah, so. You were Sahasrara, but it's so amazing because you see, we told, you told it's Vishuddhi, but it was Sahasrara. Sahasrara. And it's amazing because everything that you talked about was Sahasrara. Was it? The colors, the rainbow that contains all the colors. 
exactly the same experience while listening to Tabla that we thought it's our body is shaking and when you open, yeah, it's okay. You, it's nothing is moving, nothing right? Feels but inside, like you know, feel like jumping up and down, you know, so the same, yeah. We feel the vibration. Oh, and when we were having a hard time because John was actually talking to, to explain, you know, here. Oh, and we couldn't magic. concentrate and meditate because of the powerful <laughs> voice, you know, we were hearing. So we were talking what to do in case you can, like, you know, tune out. And Colleen said, I'm saying, like, you what, know, yeah. What I use a mantra in my head for myself, if my mind is wandering, I'll just say, I am love. I say, and, I am and love. And I have some mala beads that I, I, I spent months trying to think of the right mantra to say with, with the beads, because I wanted it just to be right. But I am love just covers it all. It's, it's, it's everything. So. In fact, I said that to me, I'm saying, like, these three powerful things, love, joy, and peace, it works for me, so, yeah. So, <coughs> you are welcome to use it, love. 